I'm Chris Anderson at the EU Web Tech Lab, and in this video, we're going to demonstrate a simple Internet of Things scenario that would alert a homeowner when someone unexpectedly jumps into their swimming pool. We'll be using the IBM Watson OT platform to collect and analyze data from a TI Launchpad development kit. In this case, that's the SimpleLink Wi-Fi CC3200 Launchpad kit, which integrates a Wi-Fi radio and Cortex-M4 in a single package, and adds an accelerometer and temperature sensor on the board. I'm going to send the data to the Watson OT platform, where an application based on the integrated Node-RED development environment will analyze the data and make the determination as to whether someone has jumped or fallen into our swimming pool, which we'll be simulating with this tub of water. On the board, we have the CC3200 here. We have the temperature sensor and accelerometer up here. We have the USB connector and everything to make that happen, as well as a bunch of jumpers. And then we have the headers for the booster pack, so you can add additional hardware modules. And then I've also soldered on a connector to the battery posts so that we can plug it into the batteries and then put it in our container and put it in the tub of water. So the code for this example is based on the registered Wi-Fi example that's part of the Energia platform. And that example itself is designed for the Watson IoT platform. And so all I've done is gone in and added some credentials and organization ID, things of that nature, as well as going in and adding the ability to pull the accelerometer data and send that up to the Watson IoT platform. Super simple, almost everything's already in place, it's just a matter of really setting it up uh, with your credentials and your information. On the cloud side of things, this is my Node-RED app, and Node-RED is a development environment that's part of the Watson IoT platform. And it allows you to wire apps together while writing little to no code. And so it's, it's very easy and very quick to get things going and, and see how they work. And so what's going on here is this node is what allows me to connect back to my launch pad and bring data in from it. And so it's, it's sending the data up, and this is what allows me to bring it into Node-RED. And so with that data, come in here, and this is just about the, all the code that I actually had to write. Uh, this calculates a magnitude of the acceleration across the three axes. It then sends that data back to the Watson IoT platform and we'll come back to that in a minute. It checks it against a threshold. In this case, we have our threshold set to 0.3G, which uh, is pretty low, but again, that should be stable most of the time, and so we want a really low threshold to be able to detect if the water has been disturbed. In the case that it's above that threshold, then we're going to act on it. And the first thing we're going to do is go out and check the weather. And so this weather service, which is also built into the Watson IoT platform, uh, is set up for my latitude and longitude, and it's going to give us a whole lot of data. But what we care about is wind speed and gusts. And so we take that data, and we add that to the magnitude of the acceleration, and we send an email to the user, or to the homeowner, saying, hey, there was an event, and here are the conditions. We don't want to make decisions based on that, uh, but we do want to make sure that we inform the homeowner of what exactly was going on. Because if you have really high wind gusts, uh, maybe you have a tornado in your backyard, then it's probably not somebody jumping into the pool that's causing the problem, uh, it's probably the weather. And so what you can do in addition is you could add cameras, additional sensors, you could add a lot of information to kind of give that user more context uh, and allow them to act on things appropriately. And so we also have this dashboard set up in the Watson IoT platform. And this is, you know, you, you click add a graph and you get a graph and you set it up for the data you want. And so you can see here, uh, it's, it allows you to visualize your data. And there's different ways to do it. Uh, we have this graph that has a history on it. You can see our magnitude up here. And that's why we needed to send it back to the Watson IoT platform after it had been calculated so that we could see it here as well. Uh, you have the different axes. You have your magnitude again, uh, numerical representation. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to disturb it, and we're going to see the data here, and then we're also getting an email that explains what's going on. So we get our water disturbing device, and you can see we get this large spike in the data. And now here is our email saying that we detected a certain acceleration, and we had a certain amount of wind speed, and we have no gusts. So that's probably an event of interest. You know, if I'm out of town and I get something like that, it probably means the neighbor kids have decided to have a party in my backyard and we're gonna have some calls to their parents. 
If you want to start developing IoT apps, the combination of the Watson IoT platform with Node-RED and a TI SimpleLink Launchpad kit or another TI Launchpad with a SimpleLink Booster Pack plugin module makes it quick and easy to start prototyping and developing your application. For more information on this example and others using TI hardware with Watson IoT and to register for a no-charge 30-day trial of the Watson IoT platform, go to ibm.co slash iot-partners-ti.